Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to the kitchen and the 3D print of the day. And today's 3D print is this. Um, this is a torque wrench for changing no nozzles in a 3D printer. So this particular one, um, there are replaceable inserts in here. Uh, this particular one comes out to around 1.7 uh, newton meters, uh, which is pretty much perfect for what I need and so this takes um, a standard quarter inch driver bit and this is a 10 millimeter uh, sorry a 13 millimeter nut driver and we can use that with the test lever <coughs> excuse me uh, also 3d printed and this is a 200 Oh, I don't know if you can make out the text on here, but it says, oh, it's upside down, 200 millimetres equals 500 grams per newton metre. So we can use this in the 13 millimetre socket drive here to, um, on a set of kitchen scales, and just put the end of the lever on the kitchen scales and turn the wrench until it clicks. And read off. Let's just move this slightly more into picture so you can see the reading. And I make this about there, around 850, something like that. 860. And so, um, and what's happening there is as you turn the torque wrench, it, it releases when it's at the correct tension like that um, and so if you do the math that works out to about 1.7 newton meters which as I say is, is perfect for my printer so there we go 3d print of the day nozzle changing torque wrench found on Thingiverse okay so here's how it works this is a view looking from the bottom of the printer directly up under the print nozzle and uh, in order to change the nozzle, this printer, the Voron 2, uh, together with the Dragon Hot End, Triangle Labs Dragon Hot End, supports one-handed nozzle changes, which means you don't have to grip the heater block with a pair of pliers in order to change the nozzle. So we need to get this silicon sock out of the way, and I don't recommend doing this hot because that is at 250 degrees and it is hot. I've got thick skin. Um, um, so nozzle changes always need to be done hot at or above print temperature so it's just knock that bit of filament off there and so we can bring in our wrench um, and just turn to undo the nozzle easy enough just the same as a normal uh, wrench essentially and then um, to do the nozzle up um, I'm not taking it all the way out because um, this is hot and I don't want to play around with a hot nozzle so um, just going back in and doing up and uh, you can see we go up to that's getting tight now so I'm just going to start putting the pressure on until the torque wrench clicks and there we are done up to 1.7 newton meters perfect and um, because the hot end is bolted in uh, with, with four screws at the top there's no need to hold it while doing that, which makes nozzle changing a really simple. And then the silicon sock can just go back on like that. Be careful not to burn yourself. Um, and that's that's the nozzle change process. And that's why the uh, torque wrench is such a useful little piece of kit.